Mm. Sir Chester. Hold on now. I've got a few errands to run in Hammerlock. Can't join me for the journey? If you're headed for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Sure, let's go. They say two's company after all. Cool. I'll take the fast forward. I was gonna go catch that your mask, but I'll do that whenever. And trade for it. <laughs> Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. She has an idea of where to look. Where are you gonna look? Where are you gonna look, Opal? Huh? Huh? I can still go and catch that, you mask. It's right here. <laughs> they brought us to the first Pokemon Center right here. And I think I might just do that before I forget or before I go to do it on my own time and end up, uh... <laughs> <coughs> Spit went down the wrong hole. <laughs> end up doing it on my own time and evolving a bunch of Pokemon <laughs> and forgetting to click B. Um, but anyways, oh, it's a fucking bridge. All these masks were just chilling here from last time. We ran into a shit ton of them. So it better not be that hard to find them this time. Look at it. Look at it. Thank you. Um, question though. I don't know how to. Will you live a bulldozer, my friend? I think you are part ground. I don't think you're part rock. I forget what your typing is. Perfect damage. Thank you. Thank you, Shawnee. Perfect. Excellent work. Keep it up. Oh, thank you for making this easy, too. Damn. Woo! I truly do appreciate that. And we didn't even use Alphonse in the fairy gym, either. Might I add... Sent to a box. Ooh, wait. Okay, so we used um, Paula in this session. We used Shiny in this session as well. I think we said we were going to use some Modesto. I'm going to use some of Net Yuko, though. Let's put you up here. And then Marta Tecla, you will be next up on the list if we get a chance to in today's episode. But Alphonse, Paula, and Shiny Sixton. I don't know, I think, I think honestly it's just Marta Tecla right now is the only one that I'm hesitant about swapping out. I don't know who I'd swap it out for. I don't know yet, I don't know yet. I think she was in the stadium? I don't know yet who I would swap it out for. But, let me check the Pokemon Center real quick. I'm sorry, I didn't think she was in here. I thought she was in the stadium. Um, I don't know who I would swap her out for. Um, hold oh. Homeboy fire guy there. Add him to the list. I don't know if still a Cobra would evolve. I don't know if I want another ground type. That's another water weakness. We already have a net Yuko. Yes, I got you. I got you. I got you, peep. Peep. We got more than one box for the mods? Wow. Oh, it is part ground. Yes, give me the real one. Ooh, the OG music. Ooh. For a regular you mask. Masky. Really? You couldn't get any better name than that? Just Masky, that's all we get? What a great trade. Yeah, cool, thanks. Cool, thanks. Um. Let's go right back to here. 
So I said, I forgot where the fuck I was supposed to go next. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's right where she left me. All right, so we're rocking out with the net Yuko probably for the rest of the session. Probably. Swerve. Thanks. Thanks. And maybe a little bit of the next one, too. Who knows? Who knows? So what are we doing in Hammerlock? Or can I just go through Hammerlock and keep it moving? Oh, God. Come to gawk at me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked? Can you really afford to waste time like this? <laughs> of course! Well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. Were you there when we battled, bro? I'll have you know, though, I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Is he gonna be the new gym leader? Hmm, that boy. With his bling. Now that's what I would call pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it! That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Time for my gym mission, child! Huh? What? Pink! Pink! And pink! Congratulations, child. I mean, he looks like he could be her grandson. M M Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You were used by Oleana, am I right? You worked hard to gather wishing stars for her, only to have her throw you away like rubbish when she was done with you. Come with me, child. I may be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on how much hard work you're willing to put in, too. Are you... are you testing me? Very well. I accept. In fact, I plan on making sure you see my full... you see my full talents and tell me everything you know about the wishing stars. Farewell for now, child. You should head to Sir Chester. I take it you know how to get to Route 7. So, Bade gets a happy ending, too. Cool. That was a little earlier than I expected. But, still cool. Not mad at it. Hold up. I want to see if homegirl's up here. Okay, Sonya. What? Hey, yeah, the badge collection going well? I've been doing some research on the ruins in Stowe on Side, the sword and shield. What kind of Pokemon were they, and where are they now? I still have so many questions. I was thinking about taking another look at the tapestries in. Kaboom. Are you kidding me? What was that? Hammerlock Stadium shook. That's where Chairman Rose's power plant is, isn't it? Huh? A power spot? You mean like where you can Dynamax? That's right! The power spot detector reacts when it's possible to Dynamax. Uh, hey Sonya and Nappy too. You felt the shaking, right? Seems Chairman Rose is testing something again. This is bad! Pokemon might start Dynamaxing right in the middle of Hammerlock. Is that so? I can make sure the chairman knows. You'll just get lost, Leon. I'm going too. I'm really looking forward to seeing you compete in the finals. So you should leave the investigation on the quaking to the adults. Head to Sir Chester and get that gym badge. Oh, Nappy! This motherfucker's in the train station, ready to go. <laughs> the world's ending and he's like... You ready to go? First that forest, then that mad quiz. I've been lost in every sense of the word, but it looks like I finally caught up to you again. Come on with me to round seven. I could use a bit of competition to motivate me. 
so you're feeling better. Hop. You're not down in the dumps anymore. Oh, we can finally go down here. I've never used this Pokemon Center before. I go to a hair salon every day in order to maintain my hairstyle. Every day, bro? Your hair is jacked, dog. Trainers become champion are just too strong. I feel like challengers should be given some handicap, like having a 10 Pokemon team. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I do my job every day while imagining how strong each passion of the train must be. Weird. Just a little bit. There was two Pokemon dudes there, and I should have talked to the other guy just to see what they had. Surchester Stadium. So I'm guessing Surchester is the icy place that we looked at because there's still Spike Myth. But I feel like we're going to go to Surchester first and then make our way back to Spike Myth on the way back. All right, Nappy, you and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong enough to catch up to Lee. No, not just catch up. I want to surpass him. So I think you know what's coming, mate. Let me try out my latest in a battle against you. I got to warn you. I got a colossal. I got me a colossal hop. You might need to watch out. Adrenaline. All right, who's faster? That's going to determine a lot here. All right, time for me to test exactly how far I can go with my latest and greatest team. You actually have to read it that fast, because I don't know if you noticed, but I literally just finished saying that, and it disappeared. You know, I was worried about this. But it's only neutral. Bam. Hey. The way you battle, you know, it kind of reminds me of Lee. Oh, I get that a lot. You know, I do. But it's time for you to leave, bro. Oh, we used one flame charge and we outsped him. <laughs> All it took was one measly little flame charge. And you're out of here, bud. You're out of here. Marta Tecla. I will take Calm Mind, please and thank you. Um... Huh. Fuck it. Fuck it. I can see myself clicking on aromatherapy more than heal pulse. Heal pulse I only used once because I was in a double battle. Watch the next gym be a double battle gym. <laughs> I mean, again, it's not like I'm nuzlocke I don't need the move, so I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Bolton? What is Bolton? Is that what Sonya's little dog evolves into? Inigo? Inigo would have evolved into this? Boltund? Boltund? I really like it. It's really cool. It's a little pupper. But I wish he was like black and not like black with this yellow tint over it. You know what I mean? Like the spots where he is black. But he's still super cool. He's like a, a 9 out of 10 in my book. If he had just been left in black and not have the little yellow glow on his black parts, I would have been a 10 out of 10. He's really cool. Wow. It's like Game Freak looked at Luxray and was like, we could do better. If there's ever been one triggering thing that I've ever said. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, he's super cool. I love Luxray and I love Bolton. They're both super dope. I'll give him that. Ha! Come on, bruh. Flame Charge is a 3 co right now. So until I get... I don't know. Magma Impact? There's some... Not Magma Storm. There's some flame impact or some recoil move. Heat crash. That's what I'm thinking of. Heat crash. I was thinking Embor. I think he gets it. Heat crash. I could see Colossal getting. Bro, are you serious? That was a Net Yuko show. All right. Alphonse will kick your ass too, bro. Pete. Yo, don't have um. What's the ability? Static. Don't have static, bro. Yo. That's a super cool mod, though. And I do like how Hop 
is changing its team and you get to see like a wide variety of Pokemon. That's super dope. Cinderace. Cinderace? Wait, is that... Is this gonna be his starter? It's just coincidence I said. It was Cinder, it was fire, so I sent out my water type. So that's the fire starter fully evolved. I need to see it again. I kind of like it. I want you to know I did not care for Raboot at all. It was awful. But I kind of like Cinderace. Both Cinderace and Inteleon are very humanoid, so I wonder what Grookey's final evolution is. We saw Thwacky, but we haven't seen the final evolution yet. They're both... Uh, th wow, look at, like, just look at this. This is what Pokemon has e evolved into. Look at the game! Like, these don't even look like Pokemon! These look like actual, like, humans or... I don't know. It's kind of crazy, bro. We're gonna fuck the Cinderace up. My initial impression was it was a new Pokemon because I didn't recognize Cinder Ace. <clears throat> but Cinder obviously fire, which is Poco that nigga though. <laughs> Hop, I'm so sorry, bro. Um, I was only one level above him too. So I just went out to my water type just in general and then I realized the name. Oh, he's got the fire type starter. Hmm. Okay, well from what I saw, I don't dislike it. It's really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, definitely like it a lot more than Raboot. This nigga has a Snorlax, bro? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Against the goddamn Snorlax. Let's try Paula. Let's give Paula a chance here. Paula, are you level 40 yet? Paula the Kind Hearted. The name fits so well. Because she's like a dragon. But I wonder, why did I have the ribbon to begin with? Cause none of my other mods have that. Is it just by chance? I just think it eats this. This should just give him HP. That's a lot of fucking damage. Jesus Christ. And we stockpile. Okay, so we should still do the same amount because we dropped his defense and then he raised his defense. So this should still kill. Bop. We can whack. Don't come back. Paula is out here though i think paula has earned her slot on the team oh he has five mons <gasps> heat more you know what net yuko started this battle a net yuko can finish this battle but bro i don't think heat more is the way to go you already have cinderace why do you have a heat more dog i'm the kind of guy who gets fired up to win in these situations bro this is why you're struggling right here right here like this is it this is it he had five mods. I don't think we fought an NPC with five mods yet. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I really like Annette Yuko. Colossal is super dope, but I feel like it's time for us to get like some better moves. I feel like that's the one thing that we're lacking on right now. Of course we get better moves. I guess the one thing we're lacking on, you know, that's why I was talking about a heat crash earlier. So I wouldn't mind like rock slide or heat crash <laughs> or um, you want to learn fly? Come on, dog. You're grass dragon. We're not teaching you fly. I had the TM for it and I thought about teaching it to you, but no, no, we're not doing that. Any two turn move that doesn't do 150 base damage should not have a chance to miss. That's crazy. This is rubbish. My team can't perform if I can't get my own head straight as their trainer. You should have kept that fish that you had before. Fish. Bird that shot the fish. Before we ever started on this journey, I remember watching Lee on the telly. He was like a bright star, so strong I could hardly bear to look right at him. But now I can tell I can tell just how strong he really is and what he's got that I haven't. But I'm hoping but I'm getting stronger too. Maybe not as fast as you, but fine. Whatever. Thanks for letting me battle with you again, and here I'll heal up your team for you too. Thanks, dog. I was gonna go back to that Pokemon Center too. 
I really fucking was. I think I know what it is I really want. I want to battle Lee. I want to take on my bro. But not just that, I want to beat him. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion, and I'm going to. My mind's made up. You and me are going to have another battle once I get my gym badge in Sir Chester. Hey, thanks for letting me know and not ambushing me, bro. All right! Really? What the fuck is that? That little demonic little shithead better be there when I get out of this battle. What the fuck is that? And first of all, we have an entire rock between us. Why are you challenging me? Go away. I came here for the item. Not to speak or to interact with you. The likes of you. Alright, what's with the paralysis? Come on. Annette Yuko. Annette Yuko. What's going on here? We have a new Pokemon to capture. Pollen Puff? Come on. Come on. Let's not make this any longer than it has to be. This is like Mega Blastoise Syndrome again. Why does it why does it yell and a rock comes out? Why can't I just shoot the rock out of the giant pile of rocks on my back? You know? That seems to make more sense. How uh, anytime Mega Blastoise would use Hydro Pump or Water Pulse or whatever, he would just open his mouth and the water would come out. He has cannons. Three cannons strapped to his back and his arms. Missing out on these opportunities here. Ooh, and that equals level 39. Hmm, everyone's about to be level 40. Wow. Vespa Quinn? I believe we're going to smack this Vespa Quinn down. Annette Yuko, I need you to just... Couldn't say it fast enough. Say I need you to just... One turn, we can end this. Help me out here. She got a defend order off though. God damn it, Annette, you go! We wouldn't be in this situation. We also wouldn't be in this situation if I would just use a paralyzer. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is the longest battle I've ever fucking done. Because I was paralyzed turn one and because there's something else that I really want to do. pushing it right now but I said I never use these what is this purse purse secker purse -er? he looks like a meow purse -er. He's level 40. So I don't think this flame charge is gonna kill him. Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, buddy. Come on, Annette Yuko, you got this. Okay, now chill out, Annette Yuko. Bro, what the fuck? I don't know if I'm gonna catch this thing. I can't catch him. Cause he jacked up my attack so goddamn I have to swap out. I can't nuzzle him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's definitely not what I thought he was going to be, though. Like when he stepped out of the grass. Definitely not what I was expecting. Those arms and legs like this. Um, let me tink here. I mean, I can't. It doesn't matter if I swap. I can't lower his HP anymore with anyone's moves. I could toxic him. 
I don't know, he might be a steel type. He looks kind of metallic y. I get toxic him. Because I think a nuzzle's gonna kill. But I don't have a better Pokeball than this, so, bro. I don't have a Pokemon that's level 40. Wait, I do. I think I do. Damn, what a great animation. I know it was just Screech, but, like, it matched up perfectly with him. I don't have. Yes, we do have a level 40. Will this help? Will this aid? He's used what? Swagger, Screech, Taunt. Swagger, Screech, Taunt. Does he have an actual offensive move? Boom! Thank you. Bro, that whole level shit, that's dumb as fuck, dog. <laughs> that's so unnecessary. Like, that makes catching Pokemon so unnecessarily difficult. Like, it just doesn't need to be in the game. That's like, that feels like some game mechanic that they would have had in Gen 1 that they've since abandoned because it was so unnecessary. It is a steel type. A Viking Pokemon. What appears to be an iron helmet is actually hardened hair. This Pokemon lives for the thrill of battle. Wow. I wonder what he evolves into. Oh my goodness. Um, last name will not fit. Fuck, no, 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 no! Come on. I clicked B, thinking it was A. I can't name him now. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay, so his name is Tion Nabo Polasar. First name, T I A N. Second name, or last name, Nabo Polasar. Capital N A B O L. No, wrong. Capital N A B O P O L A S S A R. N A B O P O L A S S A R. Tian Nabu Polosar. Um, he is from Slovenia. Um, born August 23rd, 2017. At 11 29 a.m. Makes him two years old. Two feet 11 inches is his height. 33.9 pounds is his weight. Right handed. A positive blood type. Death date being February 23rd, 2100. The year 2100. At 2.05 a.m. Lifespan of 82 years. Cause of death. Cancer. So I will get a chance to nickname you some other time, my boy. But I wonder if he evolves. I would like to see what he evolves into. Oh. You're stopping me. I want to catch one of these things, too. Wow. A wild Morpeko. Be there, buddy. Level fucking 40. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have two level 40s now. Alphonse is now level 40. Oh, Alphonse is now level 40. You can't paralyze unless you type in more, can you? So if he's level 40, I'll just nuzzle this hoe. Make quick work of this. Mm. So I don't know what I was about to say. I don't know what causes. Is it just the move bite itself? These are both base 80. I think he should live this. Come on with this fucking paralysis. Every single fucking battle since I've left Hammerlock, I've been paralyzed. Come on, bro. You just find ways to make every battle super fucking long. I swear to God, if this kills, it shouldn't. I will take that amount of damage. That is a point fix. Why did he change back? Is it because of his HP? So he used Bite and his HP drop, and both of those changed it. Thank you. We about to find the fuck out, damn it. We about to find the fuck out. Morpeko. 
We have three level forties now. Our squad is getting up there. Damn. Two-sided Pokemon, electric dark, full belly mode. As it eats the seeds stored up in its pocket-like pouches, this Pokemon is not just satisfying its constant hunger, it's also generating electricity. Okay. So we have a male Morpeko. <laughs> okay. So nickname is... Will it fit? Festus Damon. Festus Damon is his name. He's from Togo. 36 years of age. Born on March 26, 1983 at 1020 a.m. Height is 5'11", weighing 176 pounds. Right-handed, A-positive blood type. Lifespan is 71 years, dying on January 13th, 2055 at 10.01 a.m. of an unspecified illness. Festus Damon. What an appropriate name. Festus Damon. Hunger Switch. The Pokemon changes its form, alternating between its full belly mode and hangry mode after the end of each turn. Hangry mode? We put the word hangry in the game? Really? The hangry mode? Full belly mode, he's happy. Hangry mode, he's purple and black, unhappy. After the end of each turn. But does he? Does anything happen? Does he just change? Like, does his typing change? Is he... I mean, he's, he looks pretty dark still. So, I don't know. Jilly is a psychic thing, maybe? I feel like I knew that, but at the same time, I'm still surprised. I don't understand. What's the point in the full belly mode? Is there any difference between the two? My boy, best is Damon. What can I say? Um, okay. I don't know why I'm wasting all this. I should just go back to the Pokemon Center. Normally, I would go back to the Pokemon Center. We've been here for so long. And now this dude wants to fight. Being a taxi driver means I've got to be ready anytime, anywhere. Pokemon battles are the same. Anytime, anywhere. Chill, bro. Oh, I was gonna check the map! Cappy Bruce. Oh, he's got a Corvus squad. Ah. Oh, because he's a taxi driver. Of course. Of course. Of course. I don't know why I haven't changed Annette Yoko's moveset yet. Normally I have all my offensive moves up top, but I kind of like her, like, Oreo attack status placement of its moves <laughs> you're not sure of what words to use and that you goes level 40 modesto's level 40 everyone is level 40 except for marta Teclu. we gotta get her caught up gotta get her caught up roughly no dog we're gonna do that again we're gonna do that again bro sorry i hear the wind and all it's cool but you gotta go bro slash come on dog Stick to, stick to taxi driving. Pokemon battling is not it for you. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not. Mm. No matter where I go in my taxi, loss and loneliness seem to follow. Damn, bro. That's rough. <gasps> There's a Nicket over there. Or not a Nicket, a Thievul. Okay, so are they blocking the way to... Route 9 Tunnel, which takes me to Spike Map. Okay, so we have to go up. Okay. That's what I was saying. We're going to go up here first and then head back down and go through which we'll call on the way back. And we're looking for five shakes here, buddy. That's one. That's two. That's three. We can go for it. Fuck! Oh, come on, dog. Get your little greedy ass out of here. Greedent. Adios. Nigga gonna run off with all my berries too. See, that's why I don't have any berries and glazed right here. Did I say glaze, blaze, glaze. Okay, you all don't have to chase me. Come on now. Chill with the gang activity. 
I want to see what's actually in the grass, though. You can catch baby Toxels? What? Homeboy said he needed to trade me for a Toxel, too. There is nothing I can attack him with. He will die. I'm thinking maybe the Nuzzle. Maybe the Dazzling Gleam. Only because he resisted. I'm so scared. I'm gonna nuzzle him. I'm gonna nuzzle him. It's a baby. Go nuzzle the baby. Look at this. Oh boy. He nuzzled me. Okay, he nuzzled me and it did nothing. So a nuzzle in return should do nothing. I like that. Okay, so this conveniently knocks out another side quest that we had because we had to trade for the Toxel. I don't even fucking remember where that dude asked to trade for the Toxel. What? Wait, why did I do that? I did not mean to click discharge. I did not mean to click discharge. Why did I do that? Be another one. Be another one. Fuck. Watch him be like the rare encounter this grass. Okay. That'll be an accessory thing I can go and do. I can go get another baby toxel. So the next session, I can get a baby toxel and find out where to trade that toxel at. I really can't get away, bro. Really? Why do you have small dog syndrome? Come on. Let me bounce. Let me bounce the fuck about this battle. I'm tired of being in battle. I don't want to be in no more battles right now. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get out of here, dog. You have used the sword dance, and you have seen that my leftovers will negate all damage that you can do. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, I'll come back for the toxel. Some other time. Some other. Whoa, Route 8 is kind of wild, bro. Whoa, Route 8 is kind of wild. Hey, you know what? I think before we even dig into this, I think I'm going to wrap up this session right here, right now. We're just at the two and a half hour mark, which uh, I got to get rid of that one time I went and took Sasha away. But aside from that, we should have um, some decent episodes from this session. I started this series with 45 minute episodes, but it's a little challenging to get five 45 minute episodes done. That's essentially five hours of recording. Um, and I mean, I guess I could try to shoot for two, two and a half hour sessions a week. Um, I haven't really tried yet, but normally I do one two and a half hour session a week and that gives me five 30 minute episodes. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to try and get another two and a half hour session in this week. We'll see. I don't know. I can't promise you. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up right now for here. I'm going to go and catch that baby Toxel as well. So at the start of the next session, we can go trade that and then dive into Route 8 here and head towards Sir Chester. Thank you so much for your love and your loyalty. Our team is looking super dope. I will catch you guys next time. Until then, I'm out this bitch. Bye.